So what is a living website? Well, first, let's take a look at what an old-style website is. I remember when I was uh, starting out with my own business back in 2001, um, I needed a website, so I called one of my geeky friends, and he had a geeky friend that was sort of a web programmer. And, uh, and he said, you know, well, for about $1,500, or excuse me, $1,500, I could have a website. And he put it up, and it was about five pages, and it kind of was like an online static brochure. I uh, told a little bit about me and what my company was doing, which was accounting and bookkeeping services. Um, and then, um, but I wasn't being found on the, on the Internet. You know, once I had my real estate, I had no idea about search engine optimization and how people were actually finding me. Um, so the other option, or the next thing you need to do is find an, a search engine optimization expert or someone who can help your business get found on the Internet um, for your specific audience or target. So what's a living website? <clears throat> Number one, it's easily updated. Uh, you basically don't need a, a uh, webmaster um, to implement all of these changes. Once the, the basic site architecture is constructed, um, the idea is that we want to make a website that if you can send an email, you can update it. A living website also would, would integrate a blog, and we're going to talk about that and what that is and why it's important. Um, can integrate social media so you can go out and find people on their own turf. Um, can have a video or, um, you know, we can update some videos, make some introductions. People like videos on the Internet. Um, a living website facilitates lead generation and contact management. So this is, again, your outreach to those custom, uh, customers and prospects. And finally, it needs to integrate search engine optimization. Um, and the, a new living website does that by, by design, by architecture. So you don't have to become an expert in it um, in order to actually reap the benefits of it. So we're, I want to talk briefly about blogs. What is a blog and why is it important? A blog is simply a content management system uh, that makes it very easy for you to interact with your customers, prospects, um, and to create more of a conversation about your business. Now, why is it important, and how is it different than things like Facebook and Twitter? Well, blogs are important because, number one, search engines love them. Um, search engines are always looking for fresh, updated content, and um, the more updated, the more frequently you update, um, the more keywords will be found. Um, and again, search engines love them, and that should be reason enough. Um, I, I wanted to make a, um, an, an appeal about what search engine optimization is. And basically, it's the art and science of getting your business found on the internet by your ideal prospect or customer. Um, so you might want to write that down. What is search engine optimization? The art and science of getting people to find you. And so that's uh, an important takeaway that you need to have here. So how to internet better? Well, I want to tie it all together um, by having a getting started checklist. So you should be asking yourself these questions, whether you already have a website or whether you're considering getting a website for your business. Uh, and that's, do you have a living, breathing website? And answering these questions, uh, such is your website easily updated? Does it incorporate a search engine optimization so that your customers and prospects can find you? Um, does your marketing strategy integrate a blog? And are you using social media to interact with your customers and prospects on their turf? See, that's the great thing about Facebook. Facebook, for example, is the most popular website on the Internet. And the average Facebook user, um, maybe it skews a little bit towards a younger demographic, but it's certainly increasing. Um, 35 years and up is the, one of the fastest growing segments of Facebook. And the average Facebook user is looking at it for about 15 to 20 minutes a day. So that means that if you're, you're on Facebook for 20 minutes a day, you're in front of those 
customers and prospects, your so-called friends. So can you easily add video to your website? It's easier than ever to actually create a, a video and upload it, whether it be something that's very slick and polished or something that's just you talking to people. Um, people love to see people. And what we're trying to do here with our, with our living, breathing website is put a personality on our website for ourselves and for our business that says, hey, I'm a person that you know, um, that you can that you like and that you trust because you know you're seeing me quite often. Um, and again, the biggest thing that we that we encourage you with a, a living website to do is to create a website that you can use for lead generation and contact management. Um, finally, the question is, do you lack the time to do all of this? And uh, if you do, um, what we do is um, what what I wanted to offer you today is a special opportunity to receive a free marketing assessment and consultation. Uh, that would be with me as, as an internet marketing expert. What I want to do is help you improve your marketing on the business. Uh, this is a $300 value. Um, we'll help you determine your marketing goals online and offline and help you develop a strategy for that. 